Maureen Maybar loves every part of her home but one, the backyard. She wishes it provided more shade and privacy, so she's decided to build a pergola. Although Maureen has some home improvement experience, she's never taken on a project this complex. To help get it done, she's recruited her sister Kathy. But will working under the hot sun make it hard for these sisters to keep their cool? I knew you'd hit it right at the wrong spot. I did too. And why did you keep going? It's all coming up next on Weekend Warriors. Welcome to Weekend Warriors, where real people tackle the challenges of home improvement with techniques that may differ from the pros, but with a sense of accomplishment that's just as rewarding. In the three and a half years that Maureen Mavar has lived in her home, she's put a lot of creative effort into giving it a warm and distinctive look. My house was built in the 50s, and I'm trying to create it into an English cottage feel. Um, with the gardens, with the interior. I bought the house because of the amount of windows it had. I like the airy feeling of it, um, the, the cross breezes you get, the hardwood floors. It's a nice house. It's, it's, it suits me. <laughs> Since moving in, Maureen has tackled many home improvement projects, from building a picket fence, to refurbishing a bathroom, to reconstructing the den. Before this was the den, it was the living room, which had this horrible paneling on it, which I removed. And with the fireplace, I put a masonry sheet over it, kind of like concrete, to obscure the fact that it was brick. I didn't want it to be solid brick. And then I went ahead and I painted everything and installed the fireplace screen. And I think it, it came out really nice. I think it's a really nice room. With confidence in her abilities, Maureen now plans to work on an area of her backyard that's always been a sore spot. Well, my backyard had a line of Italian cypress next to the pool, which I really disliked. So I had those removed, except now I have no privacy. One of the other problems in my backyard, especially for the dogs, is there's no shade. There's no shade for them, and it gets really hot in the summertime. So I said, well, let me see if I can build some sort of pergola, shade shelter. And that's when I went online and I found the plans to do what I'm going to do, and then also found some plans to make benches. Besides building a shady sitting area, Maureen has also decided to improve upon the existing property fence. My first step will be to raise the fence with the finished trellis that I have bought. And then I'll be painting the wall, nice bright turquoise. And then I will start building the shade shelter. The redwood shelter will have four legs that need to be anchored to the ground. To do that, Maureen will have to set two braces in the exposed dirt and two in the concrete. One of the hardest things I think is going to be putting the braces next to the pool because obviously I cannot dig because it's in concrete, so I have to drill. That will be the hardest part. And then hopefully it won't all fall down in the end. <laughs> it's a complex project. And to lend a much needed hand, Maureen has recruited her sister, Kathy. My sister's coming out from Atlanta to help me. I've roped her in and uh, hope she's up to it. <laughs> she says she is. She's helped me before, so I think we'll work good as a team. After spending time planning the project, Maureen is eager to break ground and start construction. I don't think the project's going to be difficult because the plans state that it's a simple weekend project and I know my abilities, so I'm allowing myself two days. But I'm an optimist. <laughs> Coming up, will Maureen's optimism fade after a long day in the hot sun? <laughs> We're gonna need an extra day just to drill the holes. <laughs> It's all next on Weekend Warriors.
Welcome back to Weekend Warriors. I'm Brian Blakely. Maureen Mavar wants some shade and a little more privacy in her backyard, so she's decided to build a pergola. Although Maureen is a dedicated do-it-yourselfer, she's never tackled a project this complex before. Besides the pergola, Maureen also wants to give her cinder block wall a new look with lattice and paint. Because there's so much work to do, Maureen's sister Kathy has come to town for three days to help out. But with luck, they'll be done in two. Today we're going to start by installing the framed lattice on top of the, um, on top of the brick wall. Then we are going to drill the bases for the posts near the pool. And of course, we're going to paint the wall. The first step is to add lattice to the cinder block wall. Maureen's plan is to chisel holes into the cap blocks, insert the lattice braces into the resulting holes, and mortar the lattice into place. Maureen and Kathy start by lining up the braces and marking where the holes will be. We'll be to there, so yeah, we'll be taking out most of this brick. Okay. Okay, so now. Are you ready to go this way? Put the ladder down ladder. here. Okay. Okay, and before I get up, why don't you give me the pencil? Okay. The pair soon finishes marking the cap blocks. Now Maureen proceeds to chisel away at the block wall. This one's set. Now. It's got to. <laughs> Let me get the rubber mallet. Maybe if we tap it with a mallet while you're if maybe that'll knock it loose. Oh, I can't do it with a chisel. Well, what do you I think know. a rubber mallet's gonna know. do for it? It's a thought. I'm here to be a helper. Careful. No. Well, I don't care if this brick breaks up. Okay. I see daylight on the other side. I see the whole cap lifting. I'm just wondering, though, we should just remove the whole cap. That was my first idea. And then just, just mortar over the top? Just mortar over the top. Deciding to remove the whole cap makes this step go much more quickly. Watch out, toes. Falling in. Yes, shark. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Woohoo! Final Woo. brick. Is that the last one? Last one. That's the hard part. Now everything's easy from here, right? <laughs> <laughs> the wall is now ready for the lattice. Maureen and Kathy start by sliding the braces into the open holes. Using the old cap blocks as support, they begin to fill the gaps with cement. This will anchor the wood braces of the lattice to the wall. Happy with the installation of the first strip of lattice, they proceed to install the rest. Okay. Put your section in. You got to kind of wiggle it down in there. Now that all the lattice is in place, Maureen and Kathy can move on to the next step which is drilling bolt holes into the concrete. The holes will be used to bolt braces to the ground, where the posts for the shelter will be attached. While Kathy gives it her best shot, she doesn't seem to be making any progress. We're going to need an extra day just to drill the holes. <laughs> to give Kathy a break, Maureen decides to take a crack at drilling the hole. But unfortunately, she has no better luck. Piece of cake. Frustrated and disappointed, Maureen decides to conquer this problem tomorrow and proceed to the next step, which is painting the wall. Ooh, party color. Ooh, that is a cool color. <laughs> it's a pool color. It is a pool color. 
We're just doing one coat, please. Oh, yes. Oh, good. The wall is painted and the lattice is in place. But the problems that occurred during the drilling of the concrete will now put Maureen and Kathy a half day behind schedule. The concrete won today's battle. Drill zero, concrete one. Tomorrow's another day. <laughs> will another mishap push the team even further behind schedule? I knew you'd hit it right at the wrong spot. I did too. Why did you keep going? Because it was there. Coming up next on Weekend Warriors. Welcome back to Weekend Warriors. Maureen Mavar is building a shade shelter in her backyard with the help of her sister, Kathy. On day one, Maureen and Kathy worked on the cinder block wall behind the shelter. They attached lattice and then painted it a bright turquoise. But when they tried drilling bolt holes for the legs of the shelter, the progress came to a halt. Day two starts with Maureen re-drilling the bolt holes using a more powerful drill and masonry bit. Yay! Wow! What a difference! <laughs> what a difference a day made! Oh my gosh! That's a five-minute job versus twenty-five <laughs> minutes yesterday. <laughs> but we're good. After clearing out the concrete dust, they check the bolts fit. Then they secure the bolt and brace to the concrete with plenty of adhesive. But before they can attach a shelter post to the brace, the adhesive needs time to set. In the meantime, Maureen and Kathy work on the footings for the shelter's rear posts. After digging holes to the proper depth, they place the prefabricated footings and then tamp dirt down to hold them in place. Then they move on to the butcher block bench. For this project, the women consult their drawings and formulate a plan. Okay, so do a long piece, a short piece, the long piece with the legs. Right. And put the short piece in there and then Stack, stack, stack. Okay, got it. Okay, great. They start by attaching the legs to the first two by four bench piece, but quickly run into an obstacle. Uh oh, this one's too long. Kathy attempts to trim the piece, but has difficulties. I knew you were doing that. I knew you'd hit it right at the wrong spot. I did too. Why did you keep going? Because it was there. With a fresh piece of wood, Maureen cuts new planks for the bench legs. They're nailed together, and the cross pieces are added. Learning from their mistakes, the pair make quick work of the bench. OK, <laughs> the final piece of the puzzle. <laughs> And now the best part about making this bench. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finding out how wobbly it is. <sighs> <sighs> OK. It's pretty. pretty. With the bench done, the sisters decide to call it a day. It's pretty, though. It's day three, and Maureen and Kathy are now one day behind their proposed schedule. To add to the pressure, Kathy is flying home to Atlanta tonight. So if they don't finish the pergola today, Maureen will have to complete it by herself. What's left for the pair to do is build the shelter itself. They'll need to anchor the legs to the ground, attach the rest of the frame, and add lattice on top. Once the legs are cut to the proper length, Maureen and Kathy can work on attaching them to the braces. Maureen marks where the bolt will be inserted. Then she pre-drills the holes using those marks. But when they connect the pieces and insert the bolt, Maureen's not happy with the result. OK, I, we have a problem. What's the problem? This is lopsided. Look, it's twisted. It's not straight. 
And that's my fault, because I drilled the hole. Lopsided. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's definitely going to create a problem. That's going to create a big problem. So, so we need to redrill. Undo. So they forego the large bolts for the moment and decide to secure the post with small screws. That's as far as it's going to go. This technique holds its own problems. And as the women find out, trying to keep their patience and the board level is not easy. This is straight. So don't, tur don't turn okay, the post. Okay, hold on. Because if you turn the post, it's well, going to get cocked. Well, you're cockeyed. pushing on it, and every time you push on it, okay, I'll let go of the post. Thank Just you. Just don't twist it, because you have a habit of twisting it. Hold it there. Okay. See, you're twisting it. I can feel I, you Maureen, it. I haven't touched it. I don't even have, I barely have my hand on it. Well, then take your hand off of it, and I'll hold it. You hold it. Go back, back, forward. Forward, 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 forward. Right there. Hold okay. it there. Got it? Yeah. Hold it there. All right. Go ahead. With each screw that's added, the post becomes more stable. And the women can now drill the bolt hole in the proper place. That's it. I got it. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cool, man. One more check of the level, and they secure the nuts to the bolts. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not now. Now the, for the top ones. Can the sisters finish before Kathy has to leave, or will another setback force a change in the plan? Oh, this isn't right. What? It's all coming up next. For questions or comments, please write to Weekend Warriors, care of HGTV, Box 50970, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37950. Be sure to include the episode number and your daytime phone number. Welcome back. I'm Brian Blakely. Maureen Mavar and her sister Kathy have spent two and a half days on a shade shelter project in Maureen's backyard. In that time, the pair has put up a lattice fence, painted the block wall, built a butcher block bench, and started the construction of the shade shelter. Now, halfway through the third day, Maureen and Kathy still have a lot of work to do. 